guys we made it so this is the court this is how it looks oh jesus we made it okay i'm actually leaving the parking space let me show you the court and i'll go and turn so guys this is the court so we made it we made it and i got to court 8 30. oh jesus this google map before 9. so 8 30 is actually the best time to go to court so now i'm driving to the car park can you see can you see can you see the car can you see can you see can you see so this this is i'm driving to the car park so you don't need to park inside the court because for the court staff or maybe the other senior they get to but this is where i've got the cell here this is how you go in to the court I'm taking you around the court. This is how the court is actually beautiful, you know. Thank God. <laughs> so, always take note of the notices on the door because all the courts are numbered. All right, so take note of what's written on the door. This is the way the court is because all the courts are numbered. So, like this one has court on it. So this is high cut 50. So you have to know if you're filing a case, you have to know the court number. When you finally, like, like this one is cut 57. So most times, this is secretary, cut 57. So guys, why I said you should take note of the court number is that so that you don't miss your way. Sometimes people come to court and they cannot even identify what court room. The rooms are numbered, the court rooms are numbered. So you have to know which particular court room you are going to. Because if you do not take note of this, you end up staying in the wrong court. And at the end of the proceeding, you see that your case is not even on the court list. So that's why I always advise new lawyers or young lawyers or new wig or if you're just coming to Nigeria to practice for the first time, take note of the court number. Some person actually came to the right court, but because they were not in the right courtroom, it's, it's now looked as if they never appeared. So now, we have court number one, two. Sometimes they are not arranged serially, so you have to, that's why you have to be in court on time, so that you can use the um, remaining time before nine to get to know all these details so that you don't miss your case. Okay, now, if you're appearing for the plaintiff, usually you have, you're, you're supposed to have more knowledge than the defendant because you're the one filing the case. So you, when you file the case and you submit it and it's assigned, they'll call you and tell you the courtroom before you can serve the defendant. But if you're the defendant, you have to inquire from the plaintiff or maybe visit the court and ask. The best way to know is to inquire from the plaintiff Plaintiff lawyer. When I mean when I say plaintiff, I mean the plaintiff lawyer. Which court number? Which court location? Because high court is not just high court. You have to know if it's a port, if it's Metama, if it's Gudu, if it's Buhari, if it's Kuje. You know, a lot of judicial divisions. So you have to take note of this. So I think we'll stop now for today, and um, I'm going to just going to show you the, how the courtroom looks. So uh, I've taken you around the court. I'm sure you should be giving me thumbs up by now. So we're going to the courtroom where I'll show you what it looks like briefly. And again, when you get into the courtroom, you have to go straight to the um, straight to the middle. That's where you see the, um, the that's where the judge sits and where other court staff sits. You go there and check the cost list. There's something called a cost list. I'm going to show you when we get into the court. You're going to check the cost list. When you check the cost list, you check the name of your case. For example, your case might be number one, it might be number two. You check the cost list and look at the number. So if you go there, then when you check the cost list, you see um, provisions for where you can write your name, your call date. Some courts will have call dates, like when you were called that, because you know the law is about seniority. Your call dates, your you see whether you're appearing for the defendant or for the plaintiff, you indicate. You indicate your call, you indicate your telephone number, you indicate your name of your office or you if you're appearing alone. So basically, that's just what it is. I hope this video has greatly improved your knowledge on how to go about appearing in court, you know, and doing what you're expected to do as a litigation lawyer. So, ciao, ciao, thumbs up this video.
share this video subscribe please guys subscribe <laughs> see me i'm actually see my glasses having this huge shit that i've been through a lot this morning and it's not even 9 a.m so bye bye ciao ciao we're going to the courtroom now we're going into the courtroom now and you have to see that a lot of people who come to the courtroom the litigant themselves are there the lawyers are there and watch us like <laughs> people that come to observe they are also there so ciao ciao ciao, ciao. bye <laughs>